Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I bet you'd be pretty surprised if you knew all of the amazing materials you could cut with a Cricut machine. Yes, thank you so, so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna be featuring so many of these different materials in today's video to help us create and personalize $1 gift ideas for mom. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The very first product that is my absolute favorite is vinyl. And first we're going to add it to this watering can from Dollar Tree. I headed into my Cricut design space and within their images, I typed in the search bar Mother's Day. And of course, all of these beautiful Mother's Day designs popped up and I just happened to find the most perfect one that has a saying on it that is about mothers and flowers and them being beautiful and unique. So I just grabbed that corner and scaled my design to size so it would fit on the front of my watering can and then headed up to the corner once I was happy with the size and hit make it. And that is what is going to help us send it over to our Cricut machine. I'm gonna be featuring the Cricut Explore Air 2 in today's video. So there are two sides to your vinyl. There is a glossy vinyl side and then there is the paper backing. The paper backing is what you wanna stick down onto your Cricut mat with the glossy side facing up. You also are able to easily select what type of material you are feeding into your machine by turning the dial on top of the Cricut and there is a vinyl setting and all you do is click that arrow button to feed your uh, mat into your machine, click the blinking Cricut logo, and then it will go ahead and start cutting. Since you selected vinyl on your machine, it presets your blade to the correct depth and it does all the work for you. After your design is cut, you can go ahead and remove and weed out any of the vinyl that you do not want left behind on your paper backing. And then with vinyl too, you'll also need to use a transfer tape. This is a clear transfer tape so you can see through it. And what I do is I like to cut my design out so it's a little bit easier to work with and it'll also save you using so much transfer tape. So I also cut my transfer tape down to size and what you'll do is you will peel apart your clear transfer tape away from that paper backing and lay that on top of your vinyl design. You'll use something hard and flat to rub across your design. This will transfer your vinyl onto your transfer tape so you'll peel it away from the paper backing again and then you will transfer it over to your project and in this case it is this really simple watering can from Dollar Tree so it just adds so much character and you can also pair this with some fresh flowers to give as a gift. Vinyl also works great on ceramics and this mug is a great beginner project and also makes a wonderful gift. Again, I went into my design space and searched the images and found this Mama Needs Coffee logo. It's so nice to be able to head over there and find pre-made designs. It's such a time saver. I just scaled it down to size and then hit make it and sent it over to my Cricut machine. This time I'm using a black vinyl. I don't know why, but I always feel like weeding is so satisfying. It's like you peel away all of these little pieces to reveal such a pretty design. And really the Cricut did all the work for you. It's just a matter of transferring it over onto our project now. And I just, again, am using my clear transfer tape and transferring the design onto a coffee mug this time. 
I've gotten the question asking if you can put decaled items into the dishwasher so many times. The answer is no. These are definitely not dishwasher safe. You want to make sure these are hand washed. And another great tip is to let your vinyl cure for about 24 hours before you actually wash them at all. That'll let the vinyl kind of harden to your project and make it a little bit more waterproof. This would make a wonderful gift paired with a gift card or like I'm showing you here, a special little packet of coffee, just something special for mom. Or you could also put flowers in this too. I was so excited when I found these candle making sets at Dollar Tree. I had never seen this before and it looked super fun. Another way to add that handmade touch to your gifts. And basically this set came with three different like powdery type waxes along with a candle jar and it already had the wick attached to the bottom. So a quick and easy DIY project you could make um, and all, all the uh, powders actually didn't come very powdery. They were kind of melted. One of them was okay, this purple one. But what I did is I grabbed out my hammer and I just kind of went to town on these little baggies. Being careful because they were pretty thin plastic bags, so I didn't want them busting everywhere. But that definitely helped to break up all the little pellets in there so that I could make this project. So what I did is I just poured these colors separately into the candle jar and made sure they kind of were around that wick in the center and it turned out super cute and even smelled really good too. I thought it would be fun to add a vinyl decal to the front of this candle too. So I headed over to the images again in my design space and found this layered mom icon. I scaled that down to size and then sent it over to my uh, make it. And you can see here that it separates it into two different colors. And so you can cut one at a time. So I sent it over to my machine and did a layered look of blue and a dark pink. You don't have to use the colors that show up on your design. So you can see here, I did a fun and pretty combination of the pink and blue that contrasted nicely against each other. So I went ahead and weeded both of those out and then I'll show you how simple it is to layer these. You can add it to your project. Now we're gonna work with the blue vinyl first and lay our transfer tape on top of that. And then we're going to peel it away from the paper backing so that it's transferred onto our transfer tape. Then we can layer that on top of our next vinyl, which in this case is that darker pink, and center it where you want it before taking your squeegee over it again. And then you'll remove the entire design on one sheet of your transfer tape. And then you can take this over to your project and just make one transfer. Now I definitely wish I would have actually not made the candle first and I would have put my decal onto the glass and then made the candle, but really it wasn't that big a deal. It just, you have to make sure you kind of bend over and press it on there really, really carefully and then use your squeegee to apply it again before removing your transfer tape. Turned out super duper cute, really simple. And I think any mom would love to have this special piece to add to their home. Heat transfer vinyl, also known as HTV, is another great material that you can cut with your Cricut machine and also makes the most incredible personalized gifts. And this is another material that has two sides as a glossy side and a matte side. And with this one, you actually want the glossy side facing down and your matte side facing up. 
Now I found these super cute linen banners at Dollar Tree. They have seven little pennants in each pack. So I had the perfect amount to create a mom banner. So this time I headed into my design space and just wrote out mom with text and picked a font that I thought would be cute and kind of stand out to against the plain background. I scaled that down to size and you can actually unlock your designs and that way you have more control over how tall the letters are and how wide they are. And once I had my mom word, um, the way I needed it and the size that I needed it, I headed over to the shapes and wanted two of my pennants to have hearts. So I just clicked the shapes, picked the heart, and then also scaled my heart down to about the same size as each one of my letters in the word mom. I also wanted two of these hearts, so I would have one on each side, so I duplicated them. And then so that they would all get cut on the same shot, I went ahead and changed them to black hearts, which is the same color as the font. And that way when I hit make it, this will be sent over to the machine so I can cut it all at the same time. You also wanna make sure you mirror anything that you are cutting with HTV because you're basically cutting it backwards. We're gonna be cutting it upside down. So what I'm doing is I am adjusting my machine so that it is set on iron on and this will go ahead and cut my design perfectly, the right depth uh, with the HTV and it will also be backwards because the adhesive that's on the HTV is actually on the top side that we're cutting. And the plastic side underneath is actually the side we're going to be removing. The plastic side is what is sticky. Your HTV is more of a rubber type material and it kind of stretches and pulls off. With HTV, you have to heat set it onto your material. So I'm gonna be using my Cricut Mini Press for this, set at two bars or two of these little wiggly lines, so basically medium heat. And while that is heating up, I am going to cut apart my HTV because we're gonna be working on one pennant at a time. You can also use a really hot iron for this. Um, and you can also use an ironing board. I'm using the Cricut uh, pad that's made for the easy presses and that works really great too for smaller projects like this. So for this type of material, I am actually ironing out the pennant because they were a little bit wrinkly out of the package, but you also wanna heat up your material. It kind of gives it a nice base for your HTV to sit on. So what I did is just centered my first heart and then took a flour sack towel or you can use a t-shirt for this and just lay it on top of your HTV and then Cricut recommended that you do 25 seconds. And I kind of had to do this in two separate parts to get the whole design with my little mini press, which is no big deal. You just kind of count down and then pick it up and move it over and count down again. Once you have it pressed on the front, you'll remove the towel, you'll flip your material over and you will press one more time for five seconds. Then once the design has some time to cool off and is cool to the touch, you can go ahead and remove that plastic topper. And the reason I really love HTV is because now you have a permanent piece. So you could wash this if you wanted to. That's why it's great for t-shirts and towels and things that you're actually going to use and wear. And it just is a really nice professional look. So what I did after that is went ahead and repeated this process for each one of the additional pennants. And here's what they all look like, all heat pressed and finished. So, so nice and pretty. Then it was time to, of course, add it to some ribbon so it would hang. And obviously that's pretty simple and straightforward. So here is a finished look at what the banner looks like finished. I think this would be so pretty if you even tied some scrap fabric and did more of like a rag style 
uh, in between each one of these letters and throughout it, or you could add some extra ribbon, get really creative, make it really colorful if you want. And you can also use HTV on things like this makeup bag or cosmetic bag from Dollar Tree. It has a gold zipper on it, so I decided to personalize it with some gold HTV. So my initial thought was to use this as a cosmetic bag for makeup, so I found a design that said, Mom, you are beautiful and did it in the gold and thought it was really, really pretty with that gold zipper. But you could use this makeup bag in so many different ways. You could use it for craft supplies or as a change purse. You could put coupons in it. You could use it in a diaper bag. So just get creative with whatever you would want to put on the front of yours. You could also even just put somebody's name on it and really personalize it that way. I am using my mini press again. I have it on the first setting on low setting because this is like a faux leather and that is what the Cricut website had recommended for this type of material so it wouldn't melt it. So again, I have my flower sack towel on the top and I just really took my time and moved the mini press around until I had the entire thing heat pressed on and was able to remove that plastic top again. I know I have so many cosmetic bags. I would love to know what you use yours for. Maybe you have some ideas for me on how I can utilize some of mine that are just kind of sitting in a drawer right now. But another great material that you can cut with your Cricut machine is cardstock. So of course, cardstock, you can also cut regular paper, you can cut construction paper, and Dollar Tree even has paper packs that has all kinds of great paper in them if you can find them in their craft section, and cut Dollar Tree paper too. What we're going to do is actually create a corsage. If you go up to home in your design space and search down to Mother's Day, they have a whole section of projects. And this design is a corsage that I found that I just had to try out. And it's actually a design by Damask Love, who I follow on Instagram. She is so creative. So I was excited to try this out. And what it does is it will load it into your program and have all of it divided up into the different papers that you need. And you literally just feed your paper in one after another and it will cut it out for you. So again, you can use these colors if you want. They're just kind of recommended. But what I did is I just got really um, creative with my colorful rainbow paper and went one at a time as the computer told me to and hit that Cricut button and it would cut one after another. And here's the look at all of my pieces all cut out and pulled apart. And they are basically going to be layers. And we're gonna make this corsage. You can use um, anything as a bracelet base. I had these rhinestones from Hobby Lobby, or you could use elastic. You could even use ribbon and tie in a bow in the bottom. So that would be really cute too. And I just went through and layered each one of these pieces using some stick glue for this, but you could use some scrapbooking glue too. And it was fun. It was super fun to layer all of these pieces together and see the design come to life, just like it looked on the Cr Cricut design space. Now I had these rhinestone bracelets on hand, so I decided to use that as the base for the bracelet and use some heavy duty glue and flipped it upside down and let it sit overnight so it could dry. And that is all there was to creating this beautiful bracelet that would be so pretty to give as a gift. You could give them to um, groups of women because they are so inexpensive to make. And it makes such a beautiful gift, thoughtful gift, and also a really, really inexpensive one as cardstock is super duper cheap. <music> Thank you. 
I am always blown away by the sticker selection that Dollar Tree has. I found this really, really cute one. Can't believe it's a dollar. I'm always looking in there to see what kind of goodies I can find. This one was so cute and I thought the hot air balloon one would be cute for a Mother's Day card. So we're gonna cut some more card stock. Using our Cricut machine, you can find tons of different shapes of cards and they literally only take about 20 seconds to cut out with your machine and they just pop right out. You just wanna make sure your setting is set to cardstock on your Cricut machine. Pop, pop them off of your uh, Cricut mat and look at that. I also decided to use my brayer tool and set it inside my paper trimmer to create a straight line that made it a little bit easier for me to fold the card over. And look at that. So it was seriously the most simple and quick thing. I had some washi tape, which I'm kind of obsessed with washi tape right now. And I decided to add some of that to the front of the card and then popped one of those stickers right on top there too. Handmade anything moms just love, especially if all you give them is a card. This definitely comes straight from the heart and would be so well received. I would love to hear which one of these projects was your favorite. You can leave those down in the comments below for me. I also have links to all the products that I used in today's video down in the description box. And if you have any questions at all, you can leave those in the comments below for me too. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. And I wanna thank you all so, so much for joining me today. I'll have another Mother's Day video popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.